hi everyone today I'm going to show you how to make a banner like this give me just a second and it's just f flashing text flashing back and forth it's fairly simple but uh, I, there's probably there's probably a few of these on YouTube and, and other places or whatever it, this is uh, one of the most simplest ways to animate text um, but I just wanted to I don't know show my my version of it so um, here we go we're gonna go ahead and go to file new and I'm gonna use a width of 728 pixels and a height of 200 and then we're gonna, I'm gonna click down here at advanced options and I want the resolution uh, to be 500 and we're just gonna click OK and gonna go ahead and I'm going to open as a layer you go in and find your picture let me see here Oops. wrong one it is where is it at there it is and I'm gonna use this picture right here you're gonna go ahead and click over here on your scale tool and just go ahead and click on the picture but first we need to go ahead and zoom out a little bit I'm just pressing the minus key on my keyboard let's go ahead and click it again and then that way and go ahead and resize it down a bit and then grab your move tool by pressing the M button on your keyboard or going up here and just clicking on it and we're gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and scale that down just a little bit more go ahead grab your move tool again move it to set it here in place and we're gonna go ahead and scale it just one more time just pull it out and there we go grab our move tool again let's move it up a little bit okay now we're gonna zoom back in and we're gonna go ahead and press shift and the plus key on your keyboard and we'll just go ahead and place this I don't know right here we'll do and we can go ahead and throw this layer away the background layer and we just have that okay we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make a new layer transparency and we're gonna go ahead and fill the background with the uh, foreground color and we'll just go ahead and we'll just grab our paint bucket tool and fill it up with black then we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna grab the eraser tool and we're gonna go over here in our brushes and we're gonna grab a soft brush which I have mine somewhere around here let's see we'll go ahead and grab that one and then we'll go ahead and just make it bigger I'm making the brush bigger by pressing the right bracket key on my keyboard the right one makes it go up the left one makes it go down and we're gonna make this a fairly good size And if you don't, you should, uh, when you installed GIMP, you should have got soft brushes with it. And with the eraser, eraser tool, we're just going to go ahead and click somewhere in the middle. Click once, click twice, click, click three times. And let's go ahead and I'm just going to raise it just a little bit bigger because it's covering the cop car. And 
and that'll be fine right there I just clicked it on the bigger size about four times and let's go ahead and grab our text tool and you can move you could use any font for this that you want um, let's see what font do I want to use I got a bunch of fonts. Fonts are, are easy to install too. I'll leave a a link to the font that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Shotgun Wedding Bold font. And let's raise it up to, I don't know. Let's go about 69 pixels and see how that looks. And we're going to make the color a blue color. I'm using 1C1CE3. And we'll go ahead and type out the font here. And that a little bit too small, so I'm going to raise it up. And I'm going to grab the move tool. And make sure you move, uh, click on move the active layer. Then that way you can move that without moving the background and all that good stuff. <laughs> and let's see here that font is a little bit too big so we're gonna go ahead and lower it down to I don't know let's try that back let's move it And if you wanna if you wanna set it in the centers or whatever, you click this right here and then you click on the text and then you wanna click on the align center of target that one and then distribute distribute her horizontal centers of target. You click that. And it mine was already okay so but it'll move your text and everything to place it directly in the middle okay so we got that and we're gonna go back to our brush tool and we want to use the same uh, soft brush that we used before but this time we want to go ahead and change our foreground color to a red color I'm using uh, FF0000 so two F's and four zeros press OK and I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and I'm gonna lower the brush down and we're just going to click on the text we're not gonna do it like that I'm sorry I missed the step we're gonna go ahead and we are going to press alt and then click on the text and then that way the only thing that we're gonna be colorizing is the text itself and then we're just gonna you're just gonna wanna go around your text and you're just going to want to click on the top of your text and just get a little bit of color in on this text a little bit of that red color just put a little bit more right here and we're just wanting to do the top of this just like that and then go ahead and make a new layer press OK and we're gonna use the same red color and we're just gonna fill in the, the whole text we wanna keep the selection and just fill in the whole text with red just go ahead you get it good and filled in and then we turn off this back layer and if you press control shift a it takes the selection off and then you'll just see that we just made another you know another font layer and then we're gonna wanna go ahead and go back and press alt and then click again on either layer to get the selection again and then what we're gonna do is it's fairly simple we're just gonna go back and grab that blue color and we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the red color we're just going to color in the top of the layer just like we did with the red
And like I said, this is going to be just a fairly simple, just to show you how to animate text a little bit. Like I said, there's probably a bunch of these on the internet, but I said, hey, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and do my style. And then so press Control Shift A again to deselect it. And then you'll see what we did. See? You turn that off and on. It just makes a simple flash. And we're going to go ahead and go down to this layer and we're going to merge merge it down to the background layer. And uh, we can change this and just name it background. And then we're going to go up to here. And see, because if we animated this, that's what it looked like. We're going to go, actually, we're going to go right here, and we're going to go right here and press the duplicate layer. And we're going to take the duplicate, and we're going to raise it up. And then we're going to merge this one down on the bottom one. And we're going to rename this, I don't know, we'll just text. and then we'll go ahead and merge that top one down onto this other one just like that and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna duplicate this bottom one one two three four and then you should have five layers one two three four five yep five and we're gonna press that duplicate five times and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five on the top layer. And then all we want to do is just grab this bottom one. And we're going to move it all the way down between the background and this one. And then we're going to go ahead and go to this one. And we're going to do the same thing. Just move it in between each layer. just like this and then there you go and then all you gotta do is just go up here to your filters animation playback press play and there you go and that's what it looks like it's simple easy um, you could do all sorts of things with this flashing I mean I know flashing is pretty standard and everybody does it but if you just take some time and thought and put some thought into it you can make some pretty cool stuff um, with just this simple uh, flashing text banner and when you save it you just want to go up to file export and name it whatever you want to name it um, we're just flashing text and then we want to change this to a GIF just like that and go ahead and save it to wherever you want to save it I'll save it to my de desktop and then you just want to press export and we forgot to, to uh, size that layer that we resized down to the layer size but just press crop it'll be alright it ain't gonna mess anything up and it's gonna be as a GIF as an animation and you want it to loop forever and right here you can change the the delay between frames if you wanted to all you'd have to do is just change like if you want it just 100 then you just click here use delay entered above for, for all frames um, but for right now I'm just gonna leave it at the default um, that it comes with and then we're just gonna press export and there you go it's saved I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions Please leave them in the comments. Subscribe, right? Um, thank you.